Okay, hello everybody and welcome back to The Witcher 3. It has been a long time and I have missed this game and I've missed you all. I hope you're doing well. Um, I'm finally out of the quarantine room with my dog. I'm back downstairs where I can record now. I just couldn't fit all my stuff up there so I couldn't record anything. But, um, now I can! I'm back downstairs so I can, so I can, I can play this game. I've been wanting to for the last, like, three, like, solid, like, three days straight. Is that the moon? Oh my gosh, it's beautiful! Are there moon cycles? There are moon cycles, aren't there? This game is amazing. Um... I have some points. Did I... I think I actually really liked... This one. Each point of toxicity increases damage dealt by swords in the sign intensity. I mean, that's amazing. Like, I don't think I really want anything else. Each adrenaline point decreases damage received. Yeah. Oh, and I don't have enough ability points for it anyway. Uh, maximum. Wow. Okay. Whoops. I think I just de- did I just deactivate it? No. Okay. It's just really loud. On my end. Well, okay, I think- so last time we did that fun little quest, um, but I was gonna maybe try to finish that. Wait till noon and go to the picnic. All right, really quick, we'll finish that. Um, which is wow, way far away. Oh, it's not. I guess it's not too bad. So we will find wherever this. Yeah, let's mark it. I guess. Uh, to a Wispus, a woodland witch eager to help any in need. When Wispus peered into a certain knight's heart, she saw it was black and refused him aid. The knight reacted with wrath and burned the witch alive in her cave. Soon afterward, the knight went mad and killed himself, claiming he was tortured by a strange voice whispering in his ear that no one else could hear. Oh, I did it. Okay. That sounds kind of cool, actually. What? I gotta eat. I haven't played with a controller in ages. I've, I've only been playing on a mouse and keyboard because it's all I could have upstairs with me. But my dog is doing much better. He'll be able to have the cone off. His stitches are like all healed up basically except for one spot still like healing. So he has to still have the cone on. But um, he's able to navigate the stairs and stuff better. And he doesn't even have to have the cone on all the time. So just one where, you know, kind of like, hey buddy, don't. Don't do that. Don't 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 chew on your stitches, please. Wait, where was it that I was? Oh, okay, right next to this notice board. Okay, I was confu I was like, what? It's a notice board. Oh my gosh, it's so good to record again. You guys don't even know. It's great. It's so great. I know I'm always typically pretty bad at it, but it, this was this was a. Like, two weeks of me not being able to record properly, and that was a long time. It was a long time. We should just be able to... Where's the road I'm apparently following? I might just actually go around. Up and around. Whoa, don't fall off. There's a road. Too bad Geralt can't do the thing that his horse can where he just tracks the road. <laughs> I'm like, having a hard time seeing 
Like, the game is so dark. So I'm just, like, looking at the mini-map. We found... a thing. Keep calm. Start no brawls. Okay. I guess I'll go look at this board. Kind of looked like some ruins, but around here it's wine, wine, and more wine. But me, I prefer brandy. Brandy. The answer is no. I take a clever lad, one with a good rapport with horses, for a squire. As an experienced knight, I can promise whoever I take on a fantastic opportunity to learn not just our knightly arts, but impeccable manners in the ways of high society. Looking for a damsel in distress. Hmm. I'm a novice knight errant, and I'd like to gain renown for a heroic deed. So if you know of a damsel in distress, let me know. I prefer one imprisoned in a tower by a giant, and I'd like her to be no older than myself. That is to say, 20 summers. Oh, and she should be sent slender as a reed. Of course. Armor at your service. Uh. In Buclair. No, but buddy, you, you don't, you, you can't, you can't make the armor I want. Horseshoe. You have to bring it to me. I'm not too mobile on account of my horse missing a shoe and all. <laughs> Due to an aheria, who during an attack by hideous creatures resembling overgrown insects, the owner of Horten's Vineyard sustained serious injuries. As the threat is still present, Horten's Vineyard will be closed until further no notice. Our sincere apologies. New marker undiscovered. She's always showing off her costume. You see, I'm a Oh, well, I don't know. They're gasping about me. Noon. Ah! Wow! Peruse the exhibit. I will peruse the exhibit. This side of the Yoruga, the Beauclair centipede, as it's commonly called, is seen here, proudly displaying its remarkable chitin and calcium carbonate characteristics. I want to. I want to peruse before I talk to him. Maybe. Oh wow. Oh. Wow. And he painted these from from the pictures they took? This looks like the box art. A white the white wolf Timmy Buclair centipedes. Look at it's a selfie! <laughs> okay, not sure. Hopefully it didn't mess up too much. Um, I noticed it was starting to glitch out a bit. I, I noticed it when we were looking at this picture. So hopefully it didn't um, mess up. But I was saying that I was laughing. I was laughing because this is a freaking selfie, and the guy and his face is hilarious. He's got the duck lifts going, and there's no way, there's no way he could take the selfie with the device that he had on his head. Like it, you just can't do that. But hopefully we didn't. Hopefully you guys didn't miss this too, because this was beautiful. This was really cool. There's are the peacocks, but there's also the centipede over there. And I like he painted these right, like from from the pictures he took. Geralt and the panther. As freeing a panther. Those are like I was saying, I don't know if you guys heard it, but I was saying this looks like like box art stuff. Like it's really amazing. Ah. Guy, they're beautiful. Both male and female Beauclair centipedes are formidable predators. The bees prefer to hunt in packs. Yet the author of this extraordinary work was able to capture a lone specimen preparing to attack. Cast your eye on the hunter, who, though fully aware of the danger, wears a look of cold determination <laughs> on his face as he awaits the optimal moment to strike. <laughs> <clears throat> ah, Geralt, you're here. Wonderful. Come, please. I'm 
delighted to see you. I have a small gift for you, and I shan't let you refuse. Here you are free to sell it, of course. No, I wow. You to hang it in your home. Thanks. I have art to put in my house. That is so nice. Oh my gosh. It's beautiful too. Like I would totally hang that on my wall. Like he captured Geralt so well and like the creatures that he was like interacting with. Like that's amazing. Talk to your guards back at the camp. Told me about Clarissa. Sorry to hear about her accident. Thank you. Kind words that mean a great deal to me. How's Clarissa these days? Probably can't wait for you to get back. <laughs> To get her gifts, you mean? I've dispatched two already. She'll not need to wait for my return. En route home, I mean to pass through Dolblathan. They say one can see Sylvan's there. Careful! Uh, actually happened to know one. Name's Torquay. He can be mean, but for the right fee, he'll do anything you ask. Splendid! I thank wow, you for Wow, okay. Hint. Tell him I send my regards. <laughs> okay, I don't know if he'll appreciate that. Good crowd. You got a lot of friends. All of them seem to be fawning over your paintings, too. Oh, when you have as much coin as I do, friends buzz around like flies on uh -huh. fresh meat. And they praise you to high heavens for each trip, burp, and sneeze. <laughs> not all are lying sycophants, that's not what I mean. Just most, unfortunately. Why bother? Why even invite them around? I'm a man of enterprise, and must put my trade before any personal hatreds or sympathies. Besides... Uh, Besides? At times, I'll exhibit a completely failed painting. Just to <laughs> twist their tongues into knots, trying to find just the right superlatives to lather on smeared rubbish. <laughs> Naturally, the more intense someone is to get into my good graces, the louder they praise my masterpiece. It's devilish fun, I tell you. You gotta get your kick somehow, you know what I mean? That was a fun quest. Nice meeting you. So long now. I know somebody in the comments was like, you expected bad things, and I'm like, yeah, I did. <laughs> that was fun, though. That was a nice, just little, nice little quest. I liked it a lot. Oh, yeah, I have to report to the Duchess now. All right, so now we're gonna do a main quest. Did I find... Was there no... There's gotta be a fast travel point for this town. Maybe I'll wander around until I find it, maybe? Crossroadsy type place? No? New marker. Where'd it go? Oh, way on the other side. The Carabarter Woods are named after Toussaint's reigning duchess's grandmother, Duchess Carolina Roberta, who loved organizing elaborate games of hide-and-seek in this forest. A small trapper's post located on its outskirts has grown into the tranquil village known as Francolars. Francolar? Uh -huh. Here, hunters, woodcutters, and beekeepers come to sell the fruits of the woods. The village springs to life once a year when Baron Trastamara organizes his annual wood festival and invites all the court out for a spectacular hunt. Neato. Neato, Skeeto. Spark it. It was odd as I was leaving. Maybe it's because I was leaving the town. It was like, no, wait, the marker's over here. This is a pretty rundown little town, but what a cute little art gallery. I love it. Just a little spontaneous art gallery. Food, and wine, and friends. Some not friends, but some friends. Ooh, there's like a tower up there. See that? Probably something in there that wants to kill me. I'm coming, Duchess. So this is a, an elven palace, then. And lets you admire Geralt's equipment. 
Oh, this game. I can't wait for Cyberpunk. So Cyberpunk 2099, right? She's playing the flute! My wife oh. Ow, I didn't do it. You ran into me, lady. Oh. Yeah, would you not? Could you not? Those colors don't work well with you. They make your skin look sallow. So there! So many pretty dresses in this game. I'd love to have some of these in Dragon Age. World, oh, whoops. Looks like she's actually up in the tower. Ow! Wait. No, it says she's down. No. Up. It says she's up. Hey. Okay. Wish. Don't wish uh, that. Rude. Boys are gross. Uh. Girls have way more fun. Ooh. This is totally elven. What of the funeral preparations? As your grace wished, the deceased will be buried with the highest honors. And our dearly departed Milton de Perak Perun shall posthumously receive the order of the departed. Dramatic lighting. Garot of Rivia, Master Witcher. I was not mistaken. You arrived and trouble followed soon after. Nope, it was Step already aside. here, buddy. Got a matter for the Duchess. At last, Witcher. We've been on tenterhooks. Did you catch Milton's killer? Um... Uh, case got more complicated. Case is more serious than we thought. The beast? I couldn't kill it. Didn't manage. We sent you after a monster, and you returned with nothing? We are very disappointed. Situation's not quite that simple. Beast's a powerful vampire. Ha! <laughs> is this a problem? Is it too much for a witcher? A monster slayer? But everyone knows how to end a vampire. Draw him by trick into sunlight. Yeah, try to trick a vampire. Garlic and drive a stake through And that's heart. not true. Garlic's useless against vampires. Sun and stakes don't hurt him either. Oh, that's right. Those methods, pure invention. Only work in legends and fables. And Buckthorn? When I was a child, Grandmama Ademarta always claimed Buckthorn drives off vampires. Silver sword's your best option for keeping them at bay. But it won't get the job done. Because only a higher vampire can truly kill another of its kind. Excuses. Ha! Your grace, I shall assemble a batu. Bring the matter to its end at once. The witcher need but tell us where to find this monster. Go ahead. Send them to their death. Certain death. To a lone witcher, perhaps. To forty of my men at arms? You'll be nothing. Skirmish. Forty, fifty, a hundred, doesn't matter. Won't make any difference against him. You have not seen my guard's men in action. I've seen Can vampires! Fog, hit a target that moves faster than the wind? How? What creature can do such things? Creatures like this one. Higher vampires, we call them. Each one's a little different. Unique or exceptional, you might say. Some transform into giant bats. Others communicate with animals, command them. Yet all are still brainless beasts. My gosh, man, they're, they're smarter long. than you! Thinking of lesser vampires. Alps, Ekimaras, Catacans, for instance. They're ruled by instinct, sure. Attack anything that smells of blood. Higher vampires? They We're think. gonna freak out the Duchess, though, if reason. she's gonna try to purge them, I think. Monsters driven by reason. A curious contention. Well, thank you for at least acknowledging what, that. What do you intend to do? It's way beyond being some monster. This is a powerful being that's walked the world for centuries. Tja, impossible. If so great is their power, why have they not killed or enslaved us all? Because they don't think like don't us! usually meddle in our matters. Mostly stay out of our way because they don't care about humans one way or the other. And they do not fear we shall wipe them out one day. We can't. <laughs> They'd probably be pretty amused if you asked them that. 
They're well aware of their strength. Then what can we do? Do you have a plan? Try to talk to him. That's our best bet. I cannot believe this. Her grace summons a witcher to kill a monster. Instead, he wishes to chat with it. Ha. Know what I'm doing. His lover was kidnapped. He's being blackmailed. Blackmail? Be so kind as to explain how a vampire might be blackmailed. Higher vampires? They're like us, motivated by emotions, not instinct. Not only are they intelligent to an extreme, they're emotionally... rich. Capable of feeling many things, even love. This one fell in love with a woman, a human. And he'll do anything to keep her from harm. You do not, I trust, suggest we let Milton's killer go free. Or wait until it murders again. We must render it harmless as quickly as possible. Which is why that's my aim now, to prevent further attacks. Vampires only half the problem. Blackmailers at fault chiefly. Kidnap the woman to control the vampire. And what do you propose to do? I'll find the blackmailer, free the vampire's lover. You were to destroy him, not help him. No I can't do that! <laughs> That's most important. As soon as the woman's safe, he'll have no more reason to kill. Hmm. I admit to being swayed, Witcher. You may be right. Do you know anything Thank you. about the blackmailer? Got one lead. A few scraps of paper. Blackmailer wrote the names of the vampire's victims on them. One of them stained. A drop of wine, looks like. So damn little to go on. You've no idea how wrong you are, my dear. Oh! Send for the Ducal Sommelier. Hop, hop! Hop, hop! In Tucson, wine is sacred. Here, there is no such thing as a drop of wine or stains therefrom. They are stains from a drop of Estes, Ervelus, Fiorano. Your Grace wished to see me. Witcher? Show him the paper scrap. Benoit, can you determine which wine made this stain? Interesting. I like this. Mm. Mm, yes, yes. The, the west bank of the Saint Latour. No, that, that's rather obvious. Aged in barrels of Beauclair oak. Hue <laughs> deep burgundy. Clarity high. It's simple. Saint Real, the twelve sixty nine fifty. Wow, that's that's impossible. The wine is produced at Castel Revello, especially and exclusively for the ducal table. Perhaps some Saint Real was stolen. We must go to the vineyard, see if there's not been an incident. Okay, okay, yeah, and I we we so now, never heard of it. It's highly unlikely you've ever had a chance to partake of it. Her As family? I said, it is only ever served to the ducal family. Didn't stop it from ending up on that scrap of paper, unless your grace's sommelier is mistaken. <laughs> His In matters face. of wine, Benoit is never mistaken. If he says it's Sonreal, it is Sonreal. We must ride to Castel Revello at once. Discover what has happened. Uh, I don't trust her guardsmen either. A part of me actually thinks he's probably not smart enough to do something like this, you know? Like, or I also think that, if nothing else, I can trust that he is absolutely loyal to the Duchess. Um, but what he would do in pursuit of that loyalty, I do question. Wait, your grace wants to go with me? Out of the question. Do you like my new armor? I hope you do not suppose we will sit on our ducal hind. Ducal hind! <laughs> grave danger. Your Grace, what you propose is far too dangerous. The Witcher should go alone. It pleases me to see you gentlemen finally agree on something. But I've made my decision. We shall go. Yeah. Accompanied by the best possible escorts. You, Captain, and Geralt. We will Gah. travel in the We've no wish to give the court any reason to gossip. 
For the duration of this mission, I release you from your obligation to adhere to court protocol. In short, from now on, I am Anna Henrietta, not your grace. Yes, your grace. Uh, Witcher, are you ready? Uh, yeah, why not? Let's do yeah, it. ready to go. Excellent. Give me a moment. I must don something more appropriate and concealing. Then we will be off. It's probably still gonna look really nice. And her name is- everybody knows her name's Anna Henrietta. Like, uh, I suppose it's probably a fairly popular name. Oh my gosh, she looks great. I can already tell. Can I? I want to wear clothes like that. Uh, I want to wear clothes. Like and it's like, there's, who's who are people going to think is this lone woman shrouded who is accompanied by the Duchess's Captain of the Guard and the Witcher Geralt who she summoned? Like, ugh. And the court's gonna gossip anyway. Like that's what the courts do. As soon as the, as soon as somebody's gone. This vampire. Have you ever faced its sort before? I have. How did it end? Did you kill it? Didn't have to fight him. Hadn't killed anyone. Have you ever heard of anyone defeating such a vampire? Know of a man who defeated one, sure, but he didn't manage to kill it. Ultimately, only another vampire can kill a vampire. Faster. I actually wasn't sure if they would keep up with me or not. Escort Anna Henrietta to Castel, Castel Revioli. What? What? Go where? We to this. Where? Back you beast! Be gone! Oh, oh, you're disappearing. Save us! Why am I turning green? Oh, I forgot! I forgot! I can't just... I can't just... Okay, whoa, okay, um... Help! Save us! Alright, combat's harder. Done. Time to move on. If... If not for you, we'd have been done for. Oh, thank you. You saved our lives. Hooray! I I question everything. Okay. Uh. Not so fast, Roach. Come. No, you can go fast, Roach. It's fine. Tell me more about this vineyard, Castel Ravello. It's the best in Ortusa. An old master of the winemaking trade runs it, Fabrizio. He trustworthy? He's held his post for years. There's never been a problem. Till now. I wish to know your thoughts, Geralt. The Sonreal stain, how did it wind up on the paper? Is someone from the vineyard black? Dang it, that's why I wanted to not go too fast, because I didn't want to miss any dialogue that we were going to have on the road. I think we got most of it, though. You call that escorting her illustrious highness? What were you thinking? What, what? Captain, this is not the time for such complaints. As for you, Witcher, next time keep close. What? Really? Captain de la Tour, we did not expect any visitors from the palace. How are affairs at court? Doubtless you've heard of the Beast of Beauclair. Well, we've our hands full. It was mad because I didn't stay right Especially next to her the whole time? since the rogue last attacked in the palace gardens. Stupid game. I trust her illustrious highness was not harmed. Kind of you to ask, Master Fabricio. I am well. Your... Your grace? We were not warned. I shall order the salon prepared at once. That won't be necessary. As you can see, we are not here on an official visit. Naturally. Might I ask then what has brought you to Castel Ravello? Uh, well, I just want to chat. Came to see you. Got some questions. 
In this land, it is seen as polite to introduce oneself before asking any questions. This is Geralt <laughs> of Rivia, a witcher. He has come to Toussaint on my personal invitation. Which is to say... Which is to say I expect you to treat him with the utmost respect. Of... of course, Your Grace. Did you hear that, witcher? Fabricio will be delighted to answer your every question. I want oh. to talk about San Real. San Real. I am at your service. Um. The San Real. How many vineyard workers have access to it? One might say only I do. Not like you make the wine all alone. At least a dozen others work here. He keeps I looking see around. You've little notion how wine is made. Grapes travel a long road before they become Sonreal. The workers That's why I asked me only to the stage of fermentation. I see to the maceration personally and let no one near the fat. Workers again assist me during barreling, but then I seal the aging barrels myself, each and every one. The wine lies in the cellar, gains character. Once this process is complete, it becomes Sonreal. And as it happens, only I have the key to the cellar in question. Who hauls the barrels to the palace? We've our own garrison. Guards who have served here for years and would answer with their heads for the wine. We'll not get anywhere asking questions, I see. It's a waste of time. Your Grace, how am I to understand this? Master Fabricio, we have proof someone's gained access to Sonreal. Someone who should not have, which means one of two things. I didn't get to ask all my Either questions. You lie to our face, or you are an idiot who has had wine stolen from under his nose and not even realized it. In either case, you shall answer for it. But, but... Silence! And listen. I shall inspect the barrels in person, thus giving you time to reflect. When I return, I expect to hear answers. Remind me, where is this Andreal stored? In... in the main cellar, around the corner. I'll show you. I shall find it. Give me the key to the cellar and wait here. Oh, of course, Your Grace. Uh, guard, here go with is. her. Come, Witcher. Oh, me? Oh. I feel kind of bad for the guy. If it was stolen out from underneath him, it's kind of a bummer. What if Fabricio's blackmailing the vampire? Considered that? He has his flaws, but I would never suspect him of such a thing. He's been very loyal. He owes all he has to me. His father frittered away the family fortune. He left his son an encyclopedic knowledge of wine. That is all. Fabricio lived as a beggar until I appointed him steward of Castel Ravelli. Oh. Only then did he come into his own. I want to look like her. Look at those clothes. They look so cool. I want to cosplay as Your Grace Anna Henrietta, but in this specific out this specific outfit. The the so where the, do we the start? The Let us see if wine. all the barrels are present. Here's the inventory. The mystery wine visit. Outfit. What, what? What, what? Oh. Hmm. Vintner's log. Fermentation completed with no complications. Tapped above sediment line. Here it is. Barreling. Hmm. Everything lines up at first glance. Neatly and thoroughly documented. Then we must follow our other lead. Benoit said the stain came from the 1269 vintage. Let's find it. 